Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Jellyfin for Tizen on your television. So if you're like me, you have a Samsung television and you like to enjoy Jellyfin, you probably want to install Jellyfin onto your television. And while it's not yet ready to get on the Samsung store, so you have to build and install it for yourself, I personally think it's at a place where it works good enough for me to enjoy it on my television and install it just on my own. And if you um, if you just follow the instructions on the GitHub, it is relatively simple to get installed. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna uh, show you all of the steps while I go through the installation myself. Now, first things first, you need the Tizen Studio you can either go with an IDE or with the CLI. You can just install it on their website and follow the instructions. Um, I went with the IDE just to keep it simple and I'm going to show you how to do it from the IDE just because... Um, I actually, I'm not, I'm not sure if you need the IDE version to get the... But I'm using the graphical device manager anyway to uh, connect to my television. But yeah, I'm going to go through all of that later in the process. Now the first few things you want to install is Git. Git is not strictly needed, even though it's a prerequisite. That's mainly if you want to contribute. Um, but you need Node.js and Yarn. Yarn is a tool that, um, it's a packaging tool used uh, in Node applications. And then you need a Samsung account. And that's because you need to create a local developer certificate for your television. It's completely free to do. and. It's a simple process. It's just needed to upload the app to your television. So to get Node, um, the the simplest way is just to uh, just to Google Node.js, uh, and you will get to a download page. I already have it installed, so I don't need to do this. And the same if to get Yarn. I think I haven't really used Yarn myself much, um, but if you just Google it should come, it's the very first thing, and here's the installation. So, um, that's pretty simple. Uh, I think if you install Node, uh, you get NPM, and then you just install Yarn with MP NPM, yeah. Uh, and all of this is used through PowerShell in Windows. Um, so, you can also check if you have it installed, uh, Node V to check the version. You can see it's installed, and if you also install Git, uh, okay, to, to check the version in Git, I guess you have to do. But yeah. Uh, and now to actually get started, uh, we'll just go through the instructions here, just to show that you can pretty much just follow this. When everything's installed, um, you should get certificate. Ma oh yeah, that's right. You get a package manager when you install the T's in Studio, where you gotta select some things. And um, so you gotta get Certificate Manager and Samsung Certificate Extension. So you just go into the, I think it's under the tools, maybe, wait. Oh yeah, the Certificate Extension, that's right here, if you go under the Extensions tab. So I already have it installed. Uh, and in the main SDK, uh, uh, I can actually, oh, here it is. So, Tizen SDK tool, tools, baseline SDK, and then certificate manager. And I think that's pretty much all you really need. That's pretty much all I have, I think. And now, once you have this, you register your Samsung account, and then you set up the certificate. Uh, and so to do that, you gotta use the certificate manager. Now I already have a certificate, but I'll just create one more to uh, to show you. And you need an author and distributor certificate. Uh, so uh, you just click the plus to create a new one. And uh, I always forget which kind it is. Uh, okay, it's the Samsung certificate, right? It also says here, let's see, click to create a certificate for Samsung Mobile variable and TV with Tizen system. And this is uh, for Tizen device. Yeah, so we select the Samsung. And this is a television. And then we just give it a name. Uh, I usually just do Jellyfin. Let's just call this 
Jellyfin tutorial because I already have one called Jellyfin. Create new author certificate uh, or select existing. I'm gonna create a new just um, to show you the full process. Uh, you enter your name. My name is Yabba, and then uh, you come up with a password. I'm just gonna. So since I'm not gonna use this, it's okay if you see it. I'm just gonna write something random, and then I'm just gonna copy paste it because uh, you you are gonna need to remember this password. Oh wait, you also need an uppercase. Yeah, of course you should use a password you can remember for when you when you're using your certificate and stuff. But I, I'm not gonna use the certificate for more than one upload. And we're just gonna apply the same for distributor. Uh, then we please sign in with your Samsung account. Uh, there we go. Uh, verify. And then we can move on. Create a new distributor certificate. Yeah. Privilege, public. Um, so here, uh, enter the ID or connect an account. And if I remember correctly, this is a this is um, connected to a television. So I think if you go into device manager and your your television gotta be on and in um, and in in developer mode. I think uh, I'm I'm gonna cut in a video where I show um, enabling developer mode in my television. Hello, uh, we are on my television now, um, just to show you how to enter developer mode on a television. So what you want to do is you want to enter the apps. And once that's done, uh, you simply type in the number one, two, three, four, five. Then set the developer mode on, click OK. And then you just got to turn off the television and turn it on again. Um, I don't know if all of them are like this, but on mine, you gotta to turn it properly off. You gotta hold down the power button for a couple of seconds. And now, if we turn it on again, we should see it says developer mode on the top of our apps. And now you're ready to connect from your computer. But after you've done this, uh, if you go to Device Manager and click this right here you can uh, scan devices and your television should show up here. And then the television in question, you just enable the connection and click close. And then it's gonna be right here. And you can click, right click on the television, click DUID. And this, this is what you wanna use. So uh, I'm just gonna, and oh yeah, when you connect your television, actually it, it does get added automatically. So. That makes it a bit simpler, but you can double check, see it's right. Uh, and let's just click next. And then now it's gonna think, uh, congratulations, uh, new certificate profile has been created. This certificate profile has been set as active. So now I'm using this certificate. Now we can close certificate manager and we can continue with actually getting this done. Now, if uh, if you didn't install Git, you can just download by clicking uh, download zip. If you did install Git, uh, you can uh, go into a folder where you want to install it. And I'm going to, if you hold down uh, shift and right click, you can open a PowerShell window here. It's just an easy way to get, you can also open PowerShell and manually navigate to it, but it's just easier. And then if you simply write git and paste the link copied from github. Uh, wait, sorry, brain fart. Uh, <laughs> you also got to write clone, git clone and then this, it's going to be downloaded. And now we have the folder right here. So uh, we just cd into it. Uh, now we're in the folder. And now we just got to build it. So. Uh, Okay, we also need the Jellyfin web. Actually, okay, they have the commands right here. You can just copy, so there we go. And now we should see we also got Jellyfin web. Okay, now that's done. Um, 
downloading, we can now just uh, cd into Jellyfin web. And then what this does is just it uh, it installs uh, all dependencies. I think the CI also installs dev dependencies and uh, it uses the versions. That this is probably boring to you if you just want to get this app, but yeah. It just installs whatever's in the package locked to JSON file. Okay, now this is finished compiling. Um, we did get some warnings, but I think usually we can just ignore them. All that matters is now we have a dist folder, which is where our compile, compiled Jellyfin web exists. So this is basically just the web interface for Jellyfin we've made. Now, if we go back one level, then we can see the folders we cd into the Jellyfin TSM folder. Now we just got a, a set an environment variable. I'm actually not sure if simply copy pasting this will work on Windows. Uh, no. So we cannot do it like this in Windows and that's um, because I'm pretty sure these instructions were written for Linux, but I think what we can do instead is we can do like this, and then uh, let's just copy paste uh, this part. There's no space there. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Uh, nope. Oh wait, actually, it's a string. We should put it as a string like this. Okay, that worked. And now we should be able to just copy paste this part and I think it should work. If we get lucky, I mean, we could be wrong. Who knows? This is an experiment. <laughs> I haven't done it like this before. I think last time I did this, I, um, I, I went in and modified the code where it was looking for the environment variable because I didn't know how to put environment variables in Windows. But yeah, okay. Looks like it picked the right spot and now this is done. Um, so let's see, we should get this directory. Let's check. Yep, that's right here. And this variable can be used to overwrite the location. Yep, and that's what we did. Okay, so now it's time to actually build the package we put on the television. So uh, we have the certificate selected. Uh, Oh, does this command uh, do anything? Okay, I think I think it's just that we have the certificate selected already, which we do. So that should be fine. Uh, Tson build web. Got fine. Let's just try pasting and see what happens. It's doing something at the very least. Okay, build successful. And now let's package up the build result. Okay, now that's done, we should have a jellyfin.wgt file. And that's right here. So now what we want to do is deploy on television. So we want to have the television turned on and connected, of course. The developer mode activated, um, which I showed you earlier in the video how to do. And then we connect to the television. This is a command for connecting using the command line interface. Instead, I'm just going to use the device manager where we can just connect by turning on the connection right here. And um, then we want to install the package and you can do this Something else you can do is also just um, right click on your television. Of course, you got to permit to install uh, applications first and then just click install app and navigate to your folder. Uh, I usually just copy like this makes it fast and then just select the file. Uh, what? Okay, you know what, let's just try, let's try using the command for a second. And of course, this part should be uh, replaced with the actual name of the television, so... 
let's just look at the name right here. Can I copy the name? Uh, no. Okay, so uh, let's see, UE 50, uh, U seven four zero five U X X C. Let's see if it works. Okay, that's strange. Uh, usually it works by installing app. But I'm pretty sure that's how I did last. But anyway, the command worked. Should be installed now. Uh, I will cut to a video on my television where I show the app uh, showing up. Here we are on my television. I've opened my um, apps menu. And um, just to see, if we go down, uh, Jellyfin should show up right here. And we can just click it to open and uh, see. Here we can just add a server, mine is in Danish, but should be similar to you. And now you just, um, like normal, on any other device, you type in the server address and um, then you type in your login information and you should be on your Jellyfin server, just like normal. And everything should just work. Uh, yeah, so... This has been everything. Thank you for following this guide. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Uh, I mean, you're probably not interested in subscribing because my channel is very like programmer oriented, I think normally, but sometimes not. It's a very spontaneous channel. Definitely not Jellyfin oriented in any way. So uh, this was just a quick tutorial. Thank you for watching. Um, have a great day. Enjoy Jellyfin on your television. Ask any questions in the comment section and I'll see if I can help with whatever. So anyway, yeah, have a good day. Goodbye. See ya, maybe. I don't know.